Presha and welcome back to aking YouTube channel. Well, for today will be a very different vlog because I'll be going out na naman and samahan niyo ako ulit. I'll be a tourist for a day, maiba naman, de ba? We're going on a hop on hop of bus. Ayun, I've been seeing this bus for quite some time now and this is a red bus. I kind of checked this hop on hop of bus and it's kind of surprisingly cheap. It's just $7. So why not give it a try, de ba? Hey, I'm back. Pinakain ko lang si Mochi, guys. So, pasensya na. Sorry. Uh, okay, it's 9.30 and um, I don't want to start this vlog late. Super init sa labas and I think I needed to put some UV protection. Something like that. Kasi para iwas tayo sa cancer. A few inches later. Okay, guys. I am done. So, I finally chose this pearl necklace which is a little extra but I don't mind at all and this cute little bag where I just can fit my money and nothing else I'll be your tourist guide for today and there na guys I did not expect that there's a lot of people. So, ayun siya. But, turns out, marami palang nagbubuk pa rin kahit COVID season. Normal to talaga yung tourism in Ho Chi Minh. So, dyan tayo sa Sakay mamaya. Yeah! That's the hop on hop of bus. One eternity later. Go na nga! Go na nga! So, we'll buy a ticket there. Here is the hop on hop of bus. Okay, so we have ticket now. Thank you, come on! I'm going up with this Lazada treats. No people yet. I'm just lucky. Where should I sit? Where should I sit, guys? I got this traditional hat and some treats and map. And it's so hot! Let's find a place to sit. Ow! In it sa pwet! In it sa pwet ng upukan. Just settle for a bit and then... Whew! 32 degrees Celsius! They also gave me this earphone, so we'll plug that in here. It's an audio assist. It has several languages. OMG, it's moving. <gasps> okay. The starting point of this trip is in front of the Independence Palace. In 1975, this was the site ending the Vietnam War. Next stop is Notre Dame Cathedral. The cathedral is under restoration for a few years now and unfortunately the scaffoldings are now at the front side of the church. But worry not, here's a clear photo of this French built cathedral plus an awkward girl in her early 20s. A uh, 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 few meters beside the cathedral is the Saigon post office. The bus makes a second stop to fetch more passengers. Meanwhile, I'll wear my non-la and check the next route of our awesome tour. Saigon Central Post Office is an iconic tourist destination. This is an Instagram-worthy place. It has classic elements and French colonial designs. We are on our third stop, Saigon Zoo and Botanical Garden. So one of the oldest zoo in the world. Wow, I didn't know that. sitting at the intersection of several streets in District 3. You will have the chance to try typical Vietnamese food because the park transforms around 6 p.m. Do, do you need water? Oh, okay, okay. Ho 
Ho Chi Minh City is currently constructing their very first metro transit. The project will have eight lines and expected to last until 2025. Bitexco Financial Tower is a futuristic skyscraper. Skydeck is open for public with 68 floors inspired by the national flower, a blooming lotus. Yep, you got it. It's a helipad on the 52nd floor. Winway Walking Street is peaceful during daytime and transforms into a lively space at night. Ideal location for sightseeing and relaxation. And it is also the place where I filmed my first ever vlog during Tet Festival. You might want to check it out guys. Just few meters, President Ho Chi Minh's statue is situated here with its background, the City Hall, also known as the People's Committee Building. We're done guys. Ito ang after look natin after 45 minutes. I just want to point some pros and cons of this tour. There's a Vietnamese voiceover. I think that is a bit of cons for foreigners like me because I really cannot talk at that time. Sobrang lakas niya. For two cons, I didn't use the earphones because there's no enough preparation for you to set things up. Hindi mo mga mafi-figure out kung paano gumagana yung audio assist. I think that's a bit of complication. So hopefully there's a bus na may voiceover na English. Uh, another cons, it's a bit hot. It's your choice naman if what time you prefer. There are schedules like as early as 9, 9 to 11.30 I guess in the morning and 1 p.m. to like 5 p.m. in the afternoon and then it has also night like starting 7 uh, as late as I should check I think 9 p.m. Because I wanted to see the buildings uh, on a full light. Yeah. Para good din siya for videos and so I can show you. So I can show you clearly the buildings and the places. Pros niya guys, mm, it's cheap. It's just seven dollars. So it's just three hundred to three hundred fifty pesos. Kung estimate natin. The bus is slow enough. For you to capture good photos and videos, so yeah, may enjoy mo naman siya while taking photos, and may enough time ka pa to see it personally. I just pay, I just walk in, so you can book online or walk in. That's an advantage. Sobrang dali lang ng process. There are two choices where you can see the bottom or the upper deck. I I obviously chose the upper deck, so I can clearly show you guys uh, the sceneries and. If uh, you're feeling a bit dizzy or hindi nyo bet yung init, there's also a lower deck where there's AC, there's aircon. So no need to worry if you don't feel like spending the tour under the sun. Ayun guys, so wrap up ko na lang tong mga bagay-bagay. So sana nag-enjoy kayo with me, your personal tourist guide. And um, if you like to see more of these videos, uh, Hit nyo lang yung like and subscribe button. And see you on my next video. Bye-bye!